I'm sitting with uh, Mr. Is it Paul A. Tibbetts? Paul Tibbetts, that's right. Paul Tibbetts from uh, from he's the deputy CIO from the Office of Enterprise Development at Department of Veterans Affairs. That's correct. And uh, Mr. Tibbetts, uh, please describe the project management initiative currently underway at the Department of Veterans Affairs. Oh, well, John, thanks, uh, and thanks for inviting me here. Uh, the project management initiative that you asked me to speak on here at VA is called PMAS, the Project Management Accountability System. Uh, it is actually a management initiative, it is not a computer system, but it's a framework of managing projects. Um, uh, that framework is, as the name would imply, intended to uh, increase uh, the accountability, traceability, and align that with responsibility with respect to individuals who are in charge of IT projects to make sure they deliver, make sure they deliver what they're supposed to deliver, make sure they do that on time and at the predicted cost. Um, I will, uh, in my presentation tomorrow, I'll go through some of the mechanics of that, uh, obviously. Um, uh, this is in response to uh, a rather long history of um, issues with respect to delivery uh, at, the, at our department. Um, I would say, uh, with respect to perhaps the two, several of the main features of the program that uh, uh, perhaps would be useful to remember uh, with, with respect to the attributes that the project has to have in order to be what we call PMAS compliant, compliant with this management framework, is number one, that there is some customer facing deliverable that the project produces in a six-month cycle or less. So every six months, some product, product um, that actually, software that actually paints a screen that an end user can do something with. Uh, the second, uh, I'd say, most important feature uh, from my perspective in sort of assuring success and making sure we hit that objective is what we call uh, the Integrated Product Team, IPT. The integrated product team is a construct based on, I believe, what industry would probably refer to uh, from time past as concurrent engineering, where all of the stakeholders related to a project must come together in a structured mechanism to interact on a very routine basis with respect to achieving the objectives of that project. So, so the project manager, of course, uh, would run this group. Uh, but on the group would be empowered representatives of the end user, the customer, uh, of course the development community, uh, the uh, systems engineering community and, and enterprise architecture community. Uh, our security community has to be represented there. Uh, and in most instances that would also include <clears throat> a warranted contracting officer and a general counsel, both of whom are dedicated to any contract actions or contract management actions, either before or after award, that are necessary to bring that project to successful uh, closure. Uh, so th that would be the two features, I would say, that uh, we concentrate on. Now there's other things related to documentation and so forth, which I can go into more details on the presentation, but uh, I would say two big points, delivery every six months, and the management mechanism is an IPT. And speaking of your pre presentation, what is the, uh, the, the one thing that you would like the attendees here at the uh, council meeting to, to take away from your presentation? Well, precisely, uh, first of all, those two mechanisms that I just mentioned, uh, that uh, delivery every six months is one of the key features of receiving approval for a project to move forward as a project that is being managed uh, as or under the cognizance of an integrated product team. And I, I guess uh, from a purpose perspective, uh, I would add to that that uh, when viewed across all of VA and across all of our projects, um, one of the principal purposes of the program management accountability system is to rebalance uh, available resources with the work required so that uh, we do not try to hold project managers accountable to deliver something if their project has not been properly resourced. So there are mechanisms that we've worked out to uh, make that obvious as we move forward, were that to become true uh, during a project's execution. However, with the notion of the integrated product team on the front end, 
we're actually using that also as a leading indicator to make sure that sufficient staff is available to populate that IPT with the, a full complement of stakeholders. If that full complement of stakeholders is not available on day one to populate that IPT, there's really no need to move forward with the project. So in addition to a management mechanism of concurrent engineering and so forth, it also serves as a leading indicator as to whether, from a staffing perspective, requisite resources are available to uh, bring that project to successful conclusion. And uh, what do you feel the, uh, is the biggest value from the uh, GTRI Council meeting so far presenting here? Right. Well, based, thank you. And based on uh, what I've uh, just so far, I'm very impressed. Uh, I got here today, I attended two presentations, but I, uh, the, the first and foremost, I think, is uh, an excellent collaboration opportunity uh, across federal agencies. Uh, the two presentations I attended are not only very interesting, but both very relevant to what we're doing in our agency. And uh, I certainly plan on uh, follow-up contact with uh, the presenters and, 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 and uh, using their briefing material uh, to, to further collaboration between what we're doing, uh, with what we're doing and what those other agencies are doing. So the collaborate, I'm very struck with uh, the positive opportunity it represents for collaboration. I'm sitting with uh, Paul Tibbetts. Uh, Mr. Tibbetts, thank you for your time. Sure, thank you. Jim.